Thanks. Just a few reminders to please turn off any and all electronic devices. This recital is being recorded, so please do not make any sounds during the performance. If you would like to leave at any time, please do so in between pieces. Lastly, there is no food or drink allowed in the choral rehearsal hall. Thank you, and enjoy the recital.
round, our oh. guest speaker from the local NAACP Golden Green Chapter. Woo! Tonight we've gathered to celebrate the inaugural Minorities in Mu Music Scholarship sponsored by the Mu Iota Chapter of Sigma Alpha Iota. This scholarship has been long in the making and it's commendable for a number of reasons. Initially because, to my knowledge, it's the first of its kind. As when I came through WKU Music <coughs> Department a few years ago, <laughs> there was no scholarship for minorities in music. Secondly, it's commendable because it serves an underrepresented population in an underrepresented field of study. As many of us know, the music department at WKU, although within the larger population of Potter College of Arts and Letters, is truly its own entity with its own identity. Walking within those halls of the third floor of FAC and within these walls of the music rehearsal hall mean little to the outside world, but everything to those of us who have experienced its community and its culture. This scholarship is significant it serves as a significant contribution towards the future and the expansion of minority involvement in any field of study, but, get, but gives importance to this one. Lastly, this, but certainly not least, this scholarship serves, gives proper recognition to the reason any minority in any field of study has the opportunity to attend and to graduate from Western Kentucky University. This reason is the legacy of one Miss Margaret Mundy, who was not only the first African American student to enroll at WKU following its integration in 1956, but was also the first African American student to graduate from this university in 1960. That monumental achievement was only 63 years ago. And it's the reason that we're all here today. For some of us, it hits even closer to home. You see, her fortitude is the reason why there is a 2002 graduate, Ms. Danielle Brown. A 2012 and a 2017 graduate, Ms. Brittany Carter Whitlow. A 2019 graduate, Ms. Megan Bailey. A 2022 graduate, Mrs. Tiffany Curry. And a soon to be 2023 graduate, Ms. Along with so many others. Because of her, we are. Every achievement we have accomplished is built on the foundation that she built and a path that she paved. Having the opportunity to celebrate her and to pour into the next generation of minorities in music is surreal to say the least. But it's precisely why we chose this field of study and to continue to participate in this community today. So thank you Sigma Alpha Iota for your willingness to participate in preserving legacy and promoting a lasting achievement among minorities in this field. This may, not, this may be an academic setting, but there is a scripture that I find fitting for the occasion. Hebrews 12 and 2 says, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Yeah. Can I make it applicable for the occasion? There is a great many witnesses that have gone before us in this work that we do. Learning and loving and creating music. They cheer us on in our pursuit and it is our duty to both God and to them to carry this mantle yeah. to the finish line. Yeah. We will lay aside the weight of in, the sins of injustice and discrimination and every limitation. Yeah. We will not be bound by any limits as long as God goes before us. So thank you, Margaret Mundy, for running your race with patience. Yeah. Thank you for those who have already run their race. And thank you to those who are still running because now it's your time to shine. Yeah. Woo!
you one last thank you to all of our sponsors, all of our performers, all of our advisors, all of our attendees to this concert, and everybody else who had any part in making this happen, because this has been huge. For the community, for us, for our chapter, for WKU, this has been a lot, and we have put a lot into this. And so,